Good day everyone! Welcome to Math with Teacher Justin. On today's topic, we're going to transform standard form to vertex form. Alright! Okay, so let's talk about transforming standard form to vertex form. For a quadratic function, we have a standard form of f of x is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. And how are we going to convert it to the vertex form, which is a times the square of the quantity x minus h plus k. So here are the steps. First is we need to find the vertex. So we have um, a formula in finding the h which is negative b over 2a and for the value of k which is negative b squared plus 4ac all over 4a. Now we can also use the alternative version of this formula in getting k is we will use the value of h and substituting it to our standard form to get the value of k. Then after that, second step is for us to substitute the value of the vertex to the vertex form. Now, we need to still use the value of a. We will get the value of h and we will get the value of k, substituting it to our vertex form. Now, here are some examples on how to convert standard form to vertex form. So, for example, we're going to rewrite this standard form to vertex form. First thing that we need to do is to get the vertex. In order for us to find the vertex, we must find the values of a, b, and c. So, our a is 1, b is 6, and c is 8. Now, let's use the formula in getting the x-coordinate of our vertex. So, we have negative b over 2a. So, let's substitute the values of a and b in this formula. So, we have negative 6 over 2 times 1. Negative 6 over 2 times 1. Then, simplifying this, we will have negative 6 over 2 and our h will be equal to negative 3. Then from there, I will just substitute the value of h to my original equation to get our k. So, substituting negative 3 to all the variable x in our standard form, we will have negative 3 squared plus 6 times negative 3 plus 8. Simplifying, we will have 9 minus 18 plus 8. Combining like terms, we will have f of negative 3 is equal to negative 1. And that will also be our value of k. So k is equal to negative 1. So we can now proceed to getting our vertex which is negative 3, negative 1. So after getting the vertex, we will get the value of a which is 1 and we will copy our vertex. We will use this in order for us to convert it to to our vertex form. So let's substitute and then we will have 1 times the quantity of x minus negative 3 squared plus negative 1. Simplify. Negative times negative is positive and positive times negative is negative. So simplifying this, we will have our vertex form which is f of x is equal to x plus 3, okay, quantity squared, minus 1. Okay, let's have another example. For example, we're going to transform the standard form to our vertex form. Now, first thing that we need to do is to get the vertex of this function. To get the vertex of this function, we must get the values of a, b, and c. So let's get the values of a, b, and c. So our a is negative 3, b is 18, and c is negative 5. Okay, let's use this in getting our x-coordinate of our vertex and y-coordinate of our vertex. Let's use the formula negative b over 2a to get the x-coordinate. So let's substitute the values of a and b to this formula. So we will have negative 18 over 2 times negative 3. Simplifying, we will have negative 18 all over negative 6. Simplify we will have h is equal to 3. Now that we have our x-coordinate of our vertex, we can now use this to substitute it to our standard form to get the value of k, which is the y-coordinate of our vertex. So substituting or replacing all variable x 
by positive 3. Substituting, we will have negative 3 times 3 squared plus 18 times 3 minus 5. Now, let's simplify. Applying the order of operation, so exponent and let's multiply 18 and 3. So we will have negative 27 plus 54 minus 5. And then from there, we can now proceed to combining like terms. So let's add and subtract. So we have f of 3 is equal to 22. So our value of our y coordinate of our vertex or k is equal to 22. And from there, now that we have our h and k, we can now write our vertex, which is 322. Now that we have our vertex, we can now proceed to getting our value of a and writing our vertex and rewriting it to our vertex form. So using the vertex form, let's substitute the value of o. Let's substitute the value of a and h and k. Let's substitute. We will have negative 3 times the the square of the difference of x3 plus 22 okay so simplifying by removing some of the parentheses multiplying the signs we will have our vertex form as negative 3 times the square of the difference of x and 3 plus 22 okay Let's have another example. So for example, we're going to transform this standard form to vertex form. Now, first thing that we need to do is to get our vertex. And to get our vertex, or we must get our values of A, B, and C. So the value of A here is 1, B is negative 7, and C is 11. Now using A, B, and C, let's substitute that to our formula for our x-coordinate of our vertex. So it is negative b over 2a. So substitute, we will have negative negative 7 all over 2 times 1. So simplifying, we will have negative negative 7 over 2. And then simplify negative times negative will be positive. So our x coordinate will be 7 over 2. Since we got our x coordinate or our h, we can now solve for the value of k. So let's use the formula negative b squared plus 4ac all over 4a. Now let's substitute the values of a, b, and c in this formula to get our value for k. So negative times the square of negative 7 plus 4 times 1 times 11 all over 4 times 1. And simplify, we will have negative 49 plus 44 all over Four. And from there, we can now combine the numerator. We will have k is equal to negative 5 over 4. Now, simplify if possible. If we cannot simplify, it will be our value for k. So our k or our y coordinate is equal to negative 5 over 4. Therefore, we will have a vertex of 7 half and negative 5 over 4. Okay, now that we have our vertex, we can now use that in converting our standard form to vertex form. So we need to just copy our A and also our vertex and substitute that to our vertex form. So we will have this. Okay, so we will have 1 times the square of the difference of x and 7 over 2 plus negative 5 over 4. Simplifying this, we will have our final answer, the vertex form, the square of the difference of x and 7 over 2 minus 5 over 4. Let's have our last example for today. So for example, we're going to transform this standard form to vertex form. Now, in order for us to do that, we must get the vertex of this quadratic function. So first, we need to get the values of a, b, and c of our standard form. So our a is negative 5, our b is negative 8, and our c is positive 12. Using this given, we can now substitute this to our formula of our x-coordinate of the vertex or for our h. 
So negative b over 2a. So let's substitute the values of a and b to this formula. Negative negative 8 over, all over 2 times negative 5. Let's simplify. We will have negative negative 8 all over negative 10. Let's simplify. Negative times negative divided by negative will be negative. So 8 divided by 10. Okay, we cannot divide them so let's simplify so our h is equal to negative 4 over 5 now that we have our x coordinate it's time for us to solve for our y coordinate of the vertex so we will use the formula k is equal to negative b squared plus 4ac all over 4a let's substitute the values of a b and c from our standard form to this formula so we will have negative times negative 8 squared plus 4 times negative 5 times 12 all over 4 times negative 5. Then let's simplify. We will have k is equal to negative 64 minus 240 all over negative 20. And then Let's combine our numerator. Our k is equal to negative 304 all over negative 20. Simplify if possible. So since we can still simplify this, let's simplify by dividing our numerator and denominator by 4. So we will have k is equal to 76 all over 5. Now that we have our h and our k, we can now write our vertex. So the vertex of this quadratic function is negative 4 over 5 76 over 5 now that we have our vertex we can now write our vertex form using our value of a and our vertex so from there we can now substitute that to our vertex form and replacing a h and k by the given value so we will have negative 5 times the square of the difference of x and negative 4 over 5 plus negative 76 over 5. Now simplifying this, take note, negative times negative is positive and positive times negative is negative. So we will have our vertex form which is n of x is equal to negative 5 times the square of the sum of x and 4 over 5 minus 76 over 5. Alright, now that you already know how to transform standard form to vertex form, it is your turn to try it. Please click the link in the description box below in order for you to test your skills. That's it for today. Again, I'm Teacher Justin. Goodbye, God bless, and stay safe. See you on my next video. Peace.